स्टूडेंट माई नेम इजेश एंड यूर वॉचिंग माई चैनल योर क्लास रूम एट होम इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज योर मैथमेटिक्स स्किल सो प्लीज डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल स्टूडेंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट गुड क्वेश्चन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन क्वेश्चन सेज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एनी टू कॉन्जिव एंगल्स इन ए पॉलीगन इज फाइव डिग्री एंड द स्मॉलेस्ट एंगल ऑफ दिस पॉलीगन इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री देन फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ साइड्स इन ए पॉलीगन student i can solve this question by using two different approaches first approach here i can use to solve this question is the sum of all exterior angles in a polygon is 360 and second approach i can use here to solve this question is the sum of all interior angles in a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 where n belongs to the number of sides n is number of sides of polygon but student here i will give the preference to my first approach and after solving this question by two different approaches you can easily understand why i am saying so Let consider a polygon having n sides. Let this angle is one twenty, and this will be one twenty five, and this will be one thirty. By given condition, since the smallest angle is one twenty, and the difference between any two consecutive angles is five degree. so the next angle will be 125 and the next will be 130 and so on if we draw its exterior angle then by linear pair angles this will be 60 degree similarly we can find easily this exterior angle as a 55 degree and this will be 50 degree and so on here student we can easily observe that all exterior angles are in ap Fifty-five, then fifty degree, forty-five, and so on. And the sum of these all exterior angles is three sixty degree in a polygon. So the sum of n terms in AP is given by two a plus n minus one into d. And we know that the sum of all these exterior angles are 360 degree. So S N can be replaced by 360 degree. Double of first term is 120. Different between any two consecutive terms is minus five. So D is minus five. Now cross multiplying 360 by 2, this will be 720 plus minus 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 5 and minus minus plus plus 5. 120 plus 5, 125 minus 5 and. Now multiply n on both sides. This will be 125 and. Minus five n square will equal to seven twenty. Now reduce both sides of this equation by five. Five and the five, five to the ten, five five to twenty five, five and the five, five to the twenty, five to the twenty. Now transpose these all terms to the left hand side. So we can write here n square minus twenty five n plus one four. 
ficou ele conseguiu Therefore, n square minus 25n plus 144 is equals to 0. Now factorize this equation. 16 and 144, 16 plus 9 is 25. So the factor of this polynomial will be n minus 16 and n minus 9 is equals to 0. Therefore, n equals to 16 and n equals to 9. Now, here student, we get two answers, n equals to 16 and n equals to 9. But one of the answer is correct and other will be rejected. Let's try to find how we can reject one of the answer. So, find a n, a plus n minus 1 into b, a is here, first term that is 60 plus and n is if we choose n equals to 16 then 16 minus 1 and d is here minus 5 16 minus 1 15 15 into minus 5 minus 75 so the result is minus 5 angle cannot be in negative so n cannot equals to 16 now Further put the value of n equals to 9 in an. Here the first one is further 16. n is 9. 9 minus 1 8. d is here minus 5. 60 minus 40 is equals to 20 d. So, we get an equals to 20, it means the last exterior angle will be 20 degree. So, we can say n is equals to 9. So, the number of sides of polygon has 9. Now, I will try to solve this question by using my second approach. It is given that the smallest angle is 120 and the difference between any two constituent angle is 5. So, the interior angles will be 120, 125, 130 and so on. Now, we know that the sum of all these interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180. So, as n will equal to n by 2 double of first term, any 2 is n minus 1 into d. Sn will be n minus 2 into 180. Double of first term is 240. And common difference is here, 5. Now multiplying by 2, this side. 182 is a 360. 5n minus 5. This will be 235 plus 5n. So 235 n plus 5n square is equal to 360n minus 720. Now transpose all these two terms to the right hand side. 5n square 235n minus 360n plus 720. Therefore, 5n square plus minus minus 360 minus 235 is 125 and plus 720. Now reduce this equation by 5. So we get further n square minus 25n plus 144. And by splitting the middle term 
we get 2 factor as n minus 16 and n minus 9. So, n can be equal to 16 or n can be 9. So, now find a n if n equals to 16, a plus n minus 1 into b. A is here 120. So, 120 plus n is here 16. 16 minus 1 is 15. And d is here 5. 120, 15, 5, yeah, 75. It means 5, 9, 1. And a triangle will be 195 by using if n is equal to 16. And if n equals to 9, then a n will be first term is 120. 9 minus 1 into 5. 120, 8, 5, just 40. Then the nth angle will be 160 degrees. Sometimes a student may say any interior angle cannot be more than 180 degree in a polygon. But in some situation, it is possible that the interior angle will be more than 180 degree. For example, if we use concave type polygon, this angle is reflexive and reflexing angle is always more than 180 degree. So, how can we say that 195 be rejected? So, student, I will give the preference to my first approach since in question it is not given that the polygon is concave type. So, keep watching my videos and keep practicing.